Hello all, welcome back to Castle. Today, we are going to check out Stellar Blade, the official trailer. Now, I have some stuff to say about this after this. Please stay tuned for that. But this game has got all the woke tarts, all the purple-haired, blue-haired uh, land whales just crying and bitching. And I just love it. That being said, without further ado, let's check it out. Stop worrying we know who we are You are more than a voice if no one knows we are in your door I can already see what they're upset about. I love it. Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. The story begins on post-apocalyptic Earth, where a mysterious enemy called the Nativa has forced the human race to flee to an off-world colony. Players will take control of Eve, a member of the 7th Airborne Squad. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. All we must do is complete the mission. While most of the 7th Airborne Squad is lost during their descent from the colony, Eve soon meets two new companions. Adam, born on Earth, is in pursuit of an energy source stay. called Hypersound. Make sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha and AT by is. So this must be 8 or 7. Lily, a member of the 5th Airborne Squad, provides engineering support. Lily Artemis II. Then I can be your engineering support. <laughs> she puts her technical knowledge to use by upgrading Eve's equipment throughout the game. <laughs> Damn. Here. Done. Something does feel different. This is Zion, a city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on Earth. A whole city underneath the wasteland. Eve is called Angel, Angel by the survivors and is an object of both awe and fear. I'm not selling anything to you. They'll seem a bit wary at first, but will Angel, gradually loosen up as Eve tools? shows a commitment to rebuilding the city. Hello, Angel. How are you? I see we have guests. I can't believe the Angel is here. The survivors will sometimes ask Eve for help. Please save my younger sister. Wait right here. I'm getting a real Final Fantasy vibe. Their requests yes. will often lead her to the wasteland and the Great Desert. This place has been overrun by Nativas. I like this. And malfunctioning machines and robots. A supply camp in a place like this. You will occasionally find supply stations set up by previous airborne squads. At each camp, Eve can purchase various consumable items, acquire new skills, upgrade equipment, and more. She can also take a well-deserved break to restore her health. Eve will often encounter people in need and other non-human beings who may need her help. Request your assistance. Whether to assist or ignore them is entirely up to the player. On her journey to defeat the Elder Nativa, Eve will sometimes encounter hostile survivors or something worse. Eve, what are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nativa? All airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. You mean the extinction of all Nativas, right? To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. It is not an easy fight. It's fine. I can do this alone. It won't be easy. Angel, that's the unofficial name for members of the EVE Airborne Squad. I 
can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. I will find it, and I will make it pay. Open it! It's windy! No more light to blind my eyes to watch you Drone is different. This is no longer the drone you knew. So close to the It looks good, I can't lie. I got, it. I got something good. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, it's kind of like if Resident Evil and uh, Final Fantasy had a baby. <laughs> I can see... I can see why the uh, the blue-haired land whales are uh, upset over this. It's quite easy to see the uh, <laughs> jiggle physics are in full force, even on <laughs> any mini. I'm not gonna finish that. You can finish it if you wish. Uh, one thing that I do notice, and it has me kind of concerned. Hear me out. There is not a lack of outfits in this trailer. Like, every time you see her, unless she's fighting, she has a different costume on, for lack of a better word. So I'm wondering just how much microtransactions going to be. I'm sorry, I, I can't help but think that. Now, that being said, full disclosure, I've already bought the game. Now, for those of you that are jumping up and down, you say not to pre-order games. I completely agree that I shouldn't have. But the minute I heard that that all these, let's be kind, just call them woke tards, were flipping out over this game, I bought it. And I will have it on my PlayStation. I will absolutely 100% be streaming this game and I don't care give me your hate clicks give me your hate views come in and hate I don't care uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous I cannot wait I know there's a demo don't even go there I know I don't want to touch it till it's fully released I burnt myself out on the demo for uh, Baldur's Gate. And that's the reason why I haven't streamed Baldur's Gate. I am letting it get enough time to where I kind of forget everything to where whatever I play it again, hopefully, I mean, the first part, I know it by heart. So I don't want to play this demo. I'm not going to. That being said, that's all I've got. What do you guys think? Is this on your radar? Listen to, please... I'm not suggesting you pre-order. At least pay it attention. We as a fandom have to start supporting stuff that is as anti-woke as we can find. And <laughs> this is anti-woke to say the least. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next video.